EFF have released a statement about uh, what e, look, ANPA, National Prosecuting Authority, have said. Well, to those who are living under rogue, uh, they have said that Bona, they are not going to prosecute. Um, they are not going to prosecute the Palapala uh, Palapala case because you know there are no there's no prospect that that case can be. I mean, it can they, they, they can win it. I'm like there are actually more probabilities of them winning that case than the probabilities of them not winning that case. But again, I'm going to talk about a state capture. What is a state capture? State capture is when people. Uh, have infiltrated in key institution. Right now, we are seeing exactly that. Then the, 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 the MK party made a comment about this to say, we know that if it was Jacob Zuma, this would have been prosecuted long ago. They were willing to risk everything just to try and win that case. They would have done that. But now it's Palapala. That is overlooked. So I'm going to get into the letter here, EFF. But let's read this. On the 10th of October 2024, the NPA said, The Director of Public Prosecution, NDPP in Limpompo, Advocate Kuloko Mukali IV Tenga, has taken a decision not to prosecute anyone in relation to the Palapala case. Hmm. This decision follows a comprehensive investigation process that was conducted by the Director Directorate for Priority Crimes Investigation, DPCI, following a complaint laid by Mr. Arthur Fraser, the South African Police Service, SAPS, the criminal complaint was registered at the uh, was registered against the President of the Republic of South Africa, Mr. Matamela Sore Ramaphosa. The complainant requested that the SAPS investigate the conduct of, uh, of Mr. President and that of Mayor General Willie Road alleging that it was look, that it has amounted to a, co look, uh, a commission of money laundering and corruption the investigation also covered uh, covered um, any possibilities contravening of the income tax uh, tax what 1258 of 1962 exchange control regulation 1962 this was subsequent to the break in and the theft of undisclosed amount of us dollars at palapala farm gate bella bella limpompo right there there is already a problem and i'm and i'm going to show you where the problem is uh, i was listening to mk party and this is what they said MK Party said, if in if uh, Ramaphosa was not gonna be was not to be arrested for the other things, but for the fact that he did not declare that money, it means tax local tax evasion. Therefore, he will be prosecuted for that. So he agreed that the money was there. He agreed that he was selling. Yet you are telling me when I, you find no case. Not long ago, by the way, there was a guy who is a producer who was at Pambridge Magistrate Court for tax evasion, right? He avoided tax. Not long ago. Did Ramaphosa pay tax? No. So are you telling me that none of those things make sense that you can prosecute him? <laughs> I, Jacob Zuma State kept. I think now we are seeing the real one. The one goes to my fake. About a man, you are seeing the real state capture. Not the nonsense your people are always talking about. But wait, we need to do this. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge. And that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as likely as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? We'll bring you more. And also, guys, want to buy more equipment so the power 
is in your hands. Please do the honorable thing as we proceed. Okay, let's proceed then. They said the DPP made a decision look made a decision in line with the prosecution policy of the NPA, which states that the prosecutor in deciding whether to institute criminal proceeding against an accused person must assess whether there is sufficient and admissible evidence to provide reasonable uh, prospect of a successful prosecution. Various factors must be considered when a prosecutor evaluate evidence notably the strength of the case for the state, the availability of evidence, whether the state witness are, are, are likely to be credible, and admissibility of evidence, the reliability of evidence, and the strength of the case for the evidence. Okay? Uh, you see, here's a problem with this. I'm going to show you something. Chup chup was taken to court and the trial, you know, he applied for bail and all those things. Then later on, the case was withdrawn. But the process was already, have already been started by the same NPA. When it comes to Ramaphosa, they don't even want him to go through that. It's very suspicious how they went about it. But the EFF have got this to say. The economic freedom fighter is dismayed, but not surprised, by the decision of the Limpompo Director of National Prosecuting Authority, NPA, not to prosecute anyone in relation to the crimes committed at Palapala Farm, owned by Mr. Sero Ramaphosa, a sitting president. Investigation into the crime at Ramaphosa's farm were initiated after a complaint uh, was laid by Ata Fraser, who, oh look, Ata Fraser, to the extent that serious crimes were committed at Mr. Ramaphosa's farm. The crimes included possession of one un, un, look, undeclared and illicit foreign currency. That's one. This, he avoided tax and he must be prosecuted for this one. Period. Two, adoption and torture of workers at the farm. They said there's no evidence. Three, uh, workers at the farm, including women by uh, an agent of Ramaphosa who uses state resources to follow up and arrest the suspect having stolen foreign currency from the farm, including tracking these people outside the borders of the country and the failure to report the crime by Ramaphosa and his agent Repuloko, perpetuate to hide the, illico, the illicit foreign currency at his farm. Okay. The refusal by the NPA to prosecute these crimes is continuation of pattern by the by the key, key state institution to shield Ramaphosa from accounting for his many crimes. It is askin to it is askin uh, to how state resources were used to shield and protect former President Jacob Zuma from accounting at the highest of his power as a president. This is a core of the state capture. The uses of resources of the state for the advancement of the interest of individuals to the extent that basic tenets of law are violated, are violated time and again to protect politically powerful, politically powerful. You see, I find this very worrying. There are worrying trends here. But let's read the letter from the EFF because it, it says a lot. Like, it says a lot. They continue to say, it is deeply con local concerning that the prosecution authority under the, 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 the hapless uh, Shamila Patoy has allowed itself to be used in its in, look in this manner to protect Ramaphosa and those who commit crime for as long as they are associated with Ramaphosa. Tell me the definition of a state capture. Like tell me the definition. We saw this going what is this thing? We saw this go um, we saw this go elections, right? A person who's close to Ramaphosa was also there monitoring elections. State look um, uh, prosecution. I mean uh, NPA 
people, some people who are close to Ramaphosa also, they are in, in the helm of that institution. That, that list goes on. The number of people who are in this institution busy protecting who? <laughs> Previously, the South African Reserve Bank, SARB -S uh, local, absolved Ramaphosa from accounting, declaring there was no evidence of illis local I illegality, despite there being no dispute that uh, almost a million dollar uh, local look a million dollar currency were found in his farm the public the public protector which by all intent and purposes is president's protector also also uh, look absolved ramaphosa from any uh, responsibility this type of conduct by this critical important institution of state makes it deepest and uh, makes it darkest of zuma's yes, look like a sunday picnic Ramaphosa has succeeded where Zuma failed. <laughs> the only report that called Ramaphosa to account for his crime was the independent panel report which submitted to parliament as, um, as part of the impeachment proceeding against Ramaphosa. The panel led by former Chief Justice Nobo found that one, there was a deliberate intention not to investigate the, the commission of the crime committed at Palapala openly. Two, misconduct, ba look, misconduct based on violation of uh, provisions of section 96 look, bracket 2 bracket B and violation of section 34 bracket A of PRECA were committed to keep the investigation a secret. Three, a request to Namibian police to handle a matter with the local discretion confirms the intentions. Four, President abuses position as head of the state to have a matter investigated, seeking, to, seeking the assistance of Namibian president to apprehend a suspect. Five, there was more currency uh, concealed in the sofa than the amount reflected in an acknowledgement of receipts. The, the, look, this re raised questions of the source of the additional currency. Yo. Um, there are people who are, whenever they talk about Zuma, they talk about state capture. State capture. I'm, I'm a man, I mean, I'm born under subject to corruption. What is this? Is this not, um, does this not tantamount to a, a state capture? This is just few of the findings the panel made, w look, which all make a strong prima facie case that Ramaphosa has was actively involved in the commission of these crimes at a farm. The EFF will not rest until Ramaphosa is held accountable for Palapala. The matter is said to be heard at the Constitutional Court at the end of October 2024. Like Zuma, uh, he will have to look, he will have no protection when he is removed from the office. In fact, the same institutions that are protecting him from accounting will be at the forefront of ins look, ensure that uh, in prison when he's uh, look when he exit the office as we have seen with zuma okay uh, personally i i think ramaphosa is gonna try and play it smart it's just my assumption. I think he's going to try and play it smart and make sure that he's protected even when he is out of office. That, that is just my assumption. I do suspect that there's going to be some sort of protection of the man when he's out of office. Because he has learned that what he's done to Jacob Zuma is possibly going to happen to him. But I'm interested to hear the clever blacks and the others. What are they going to say? Are they going to say, yeah, it's not a state capture because their friend is now involved. But if it was somebody else, it was a state capture. What is a state capture? Me, I think we are living at the, at the, at the, hell. I mean, we are at the heart of state capture now. 
Tell me one thing that Ramaphosa has ever accounted for. Just one, 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 one. Not many, one. Show me one thing that he has ever held accountable for. Just one. Not many, just one. Ramaphosa has never been held accountable. And is able to avoid a lot of accountability. 